you've got monofilament, braided, other braided things include silk, dissolvable, non-dissolvable. Preference depends on the situation. You can use whichever of these you would like. But the key is knowing what you want to do. So principles, dissolvable sutures in children, because they don't like having stitches removed. Monofilament, where you think there's a higher risk of infection, so you've debrided a wound. Uh, when you've got skin, so the really elderly or the really, really young, the dermis is really thin, the second layer. I prefer to use a braided suture. Uh, because it has better grip, so less likely to rip out and cheese wire through. We need to start with our basics. Our basics is the interrupted. To do that, we have to be able to hold our instruments. Middle finger, ring finger. Middle finger's here, ring finger's here, thumb is here. So two fingers in the rings, middle finger's on the angle for support. Index finger is for precision. Forceps are like this. One of the key things people do wrong when they're starting, when they're stressed, is they go into this position. So two things that are wrong here. The forceps should be on top of the finger. Your finger should be further down so you can apply gentle pressure between the teeth. If you hold it up here, you have to apply a lot more force to get those teeth closed. So if you just hold it down here, you have the mechanical advantage. In terms of the needle holder, don't let it go down your fingers. This is what happens when you're stressed. When you do that, you lose range of movement. Keep it in the pads of your fingers, and you can just gently lock and unlock the ratchet. If you look at the needle holders, they have this ratchet right here. You have to put down pressure on one, up pressure on the other to open it. So it doesn't require force, it's just gentle pressure. If you know how to drive a manual, I'm going to expose some of you here. If you know how to drive a manual, when you first learn to drive, you think you're in Fast and you're Furious and you're a bit like, you know, put that on the clutch and moving the stick really, really aggressively. And as you get more experience, you just realise you can just move it really gently. The, the, the ratchet is the same. It's just a gentle movement. The other way of holding the needle holder is the palm grip. So your owner three fingers, little ring and middle, go on one side. They're going to push down. Your thena eminence, these muscles here by your thumb, are going to push up and unlock it like that. So it works really well when you're using a bigger needle holder. This is just for skin, so it's a small tungsten carbide needle holder. So tungsten carbide, the gold means it's got a better grip. And you can see that because it's got the kind of cross hatching at the teeth. So unlock it like that. Another way of palming it is like this. I tend to do that if I'm doing backhand. If your wrist rotates really nicely, then that's good for you. You don't have to keep your fingers in. My wrist doesn't really supinate or turn backwards too far. So to get more range of movement, I can twist the needle holder with the needle in it and start however I want. It's just an extension of your fingers. So this is the ideal position. I like this. Let's throw an interrupted stitch. If you're getting value, do like the video because our goal here is just to share as much knowledge with as many people as possible. And if you like it, or leave a comment. It will spread and it's free. So, what we want to do is take out our needle holder, take it out like this, and pull the packet away. You're going to go in 90 degrees and rotate. Palm your forceps. With one hand, pull the suture like this. And then rotate. One, two, grab the tip and tie. Notice that my fingers just went like this. I didn't move my whole body. So it's just like this. You got a loop there, go in between it. So rather than wrapping it, just put the, your hand down. It will make the loop. Grab the tip and tie. It's a really gentle movement and that's it. Slide down into one hand, everything into there, and then you can cut for yourself. How I hold my scissors, thumb, ring finger, middle finger on the angle. And then I can palm it if I'm gonna keep cutting for myself.